it's inevitable. AI is set to end the era of 3D artists, taking over creative roles faster than we've anticipated. Very soon, anyone will be able to create high-end Hollywood-level VFX and movies in seconds. Forget the notion that AI is just a tool. In the realm of 3D art, it's quickly becoming the artist. All those years wasted learning 3D modeling, animation, sculpting, and rendering. Let's delve into how AI is not only changing the landscape of 3D art, but also challenging the very essence of human creativity in the arts and why you will probably never be better than an AI 3D artist ever. Through the art is all around us, from our favorite movies to games, ads, logos, and so on. Some of the awe-inspiring and breathtaking visuals you see in high-end movies all needed the help of talented 3D artists. Not just Hollywood, but in many other movie industries as well. This growing demand we've had for 3D artists over the decade is about to come to a sudden halt. Let's step back for a minute and learn how 3D art started to become popular. Disney and other popular kids movies used to be done in 2D, also known as cartoons. That is, artists would draw images in sequence and play them back to give off the illusion of movement. Come 1995, Toy Story releases. It is the first feature length film made entirely with computer graphics. It stunned the world. Fast forward a few years, 3D software tools start to become available to the general market. Now, anyone could create their own 3D masterpieces. Well, almost anyone. You still needed to be able to afford expensive 3D software like Maya, and also a very powerful PC. A few more years after that, a few 3D software programs were released for free, like Animator and Daz3D. They had their own issues like constant crashing or lack of features but they provided opportunities to more people to start doing 3D. Then came along Blender, which promised to be able to do everything like 3D modeling, sculpting, animation and video editing all in one. Now anyone could create amazing 3D artworks. This opened up a lot of doors for 3D artists who really wanted to upskill. Nowadays, it's rare to find a high budget film that doesn't have any CGI in it. And so the demand for 3D artists had been as high as it had ever been in our known history. The first AI art was generated as far back as the 70s. However, it really started to go mainstream in 2022. OpenAI's Dull E stunned the world with its amazing generated artworks. Then came Midjourney, which allowed anyone to generate amazing artworks. Then Leonardo.ai. Month after month, there seems to be some new AI tool that outdid the previous. We saw new AI tools that could create videos. OpenAI's Sora stunned the world with the ability to create lifelike videos that even the top 3D artists in the world would struggle to create. The sheer ability to be able to achieve a level of photorealism and detail that would take minutes compared to a 3D artist who would pour blood, sweat and tears to create anything even comparable. In fact, there's even AI tools for creating entire movies in minutes. No wonder a lot of 3D artists and filmmakers are fuming. You might have noticed that although AI generated artworks look amazing, they also look super creepy at the same time. AI doesn't seem to be able to understand fingers and toes all that well. Sometimes it doesn't even know how to handle eyes. With videos, the movement of characters and expressions are quite limited and just plain odd at times. However, bear in mind that we are only at the beginning. Think of it like when you showed off your first 3D project, how you thought it was the most amazing thing ever, but what it actually did is give people nightmares for months. 
that's pretty much where AI is right now. It's like a 3D artist starting out. AI is developing at a rapid pace. It's learning faster than you. Eventually, it will be able to create art that we as humans will not be able to distinguish as being real or AI generated. The truth is, just like pretty much every other field, AI is also going to dominate 3D as well. Not a lot of people will like hearing this. You can always choose to ignore and continue creating art the way you are currently used to. But just know that anyone else can just come in, generate something in two minutes and have better looking artworks compared to you, where you might have spent months on. So is it really the death of 3D artists? Well, I don't think so. Yes, AI will eventually create art and videos better than any human can, but I still think there will always be a place for 3D artists. Think about it this way. Painters used to be highly revered for their ability to paint amazing artworks. Picasso, Da Vinci, Van Gogh are household names and will continue to be famous for years to come. You can argue 3D artists are able to create better artworks than them now using computers, but that doesn't mean that painting is dead. In fact, there are still many painters making a living even till this day. People still pay huge amounts of money for painted portraits, and some of these earn millions at auction. They don't even pay close that amount for 3D artworks. I believe the same will happen with AI artworks. 3D artists will eventually be considered traditional, like painters are now. But I think people will always want artworks that have that human touch. It will most definitely continue to be a valuable craft to have in your toolkit. There will be ways for 3D artists to make a living off of their works, but it won't be like the same kind of hustle that 3D artists have right now. 3D software will also continue to evolve as well. We see great leaps and strides with software tools like Unreal Engine and Blender. There's always some breathtaking new feature like Nanite for an Unreal Engine where you can have almost unlimited polygons in your scene to create epic worlds or real-time global illumination with lumen rendering. With AI, we can continue to expect even more breathtaking features. I think AI features will be incorporated to all these popular 3D software so that they stay competitive in the market, as well as help you, the 3D artist, make some of the more time-consuming features of 3D easier and faster. Some of the AI features I predict that will come out will include things like instant 3D character creation, real-time rendering, fast rigging, and clock design. Those are probably some of the possible features that could come to these 3D software tools. In all honesty, I think right now is an amazing time to be a 3D artist than ever in history. We get to be a kid again and play with a lot of cool toys and even more that's not even released yet. So what do you think? Will AI make 3D artists more valuable or is it really the death of 3D artists.